videos in which I am considering different chapters from class 12 syllabus along with their weightage or marks distribution list and important topics, frequently asked questions and important formulae from that chapter. Friends, I have already uploaded videos about solid state solutions and electrochemistry. Please watch those videos and I have already uploaded some videos about marks distribution list in the total syllabus of class 12 in this year 2020. And friends, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification regarding new videos. Okay friends, let us consider today's topic chemical kinetics. So it is the fourth chapter in class 12 syllabus and the easiest chapter in your syllabus. Chemical kinetics. This chapter carries totally 8 marks. One 1 mark question, one 2 mark question and one 5 mark question will be asked from this chemical kinetics chapter. Here in case of 5 mark question, it is divided as 3 plus 2. So in case of 5 mark question, one derivation, generally one derivation is asked, it is about the derivation of integrated rate expression for first order or zero order reaction. So here, one one mark question, one two mark question and one five mark question. Thirteenth question in your question paper will be from chemical kinetics chapter. So totally eight marks from this chapter. Friends here, let me clear one thing. This marks distribution list is only for Karnataka students but other important topics or uh, important formulae from this chapter etc are useful for uh, students from CBSC or uh, students from any other state also. So please watch this video completely and for Karnataka students this chapter carries totally 8 marks in your question paper. So let us move on to important topics. Here rate of a reaction rate law expression and rate constant these are some basic terms or uh, basic topics from for chemical kinetics so please uh, study all these uh, concepts rate uh, rate of a reaction what do you mean by rate of a reaction or what is rate law expression etc then one important topic order and molecularity of a reaction so calculation of order and molecularity and difference between order and molecularity so both are very very important calculation of order and difference between order and molecularity of a reaction so i have already uploaded some videos about these topics please watch those videos and it is one of very important topics from this chapter then pseudo first order reaction so definition of pseudo first order reaction and an example for that is very very important and frequently asked question from this chapter so it is generally asked for two marks. Uh, define pseudo first order reaction and give an example like that. So pseudo first order reaction is important topic. Then threshold energy and activation energy or collision frequency. Some uh, uh, the definitions for uh, these terms th threshold energy, activation energy or collision frequency or uh, mention the criteria for effective collisions like that. So these are some important uh, terms. So, I mentioned the criteria for effective collisions or uh, about uh, collision theory or steric factor etc. So, these questions are uh, for uh, one mark like uh, define activation energy or what do you mean by collision frequency like that. So, next definite 100% question derivation of integrated rate expression for zero order or first order reaction. It is 100% guarantee question derivation of integrated rate expression for zero order reaction or first order reaction for three marks. So you have to study or you have to practice that uh, uh, derivation. It is guarantee question. Then half-life period. So in case of half-life period, uh, two mark question generally, one two mark numerical is asked for from this concept half-life period. Or another point is the derivation of the half, uh, expression for half-life period of zero order or first order. Sometimes this question on a half-life period, one question is asked like prove that the half-life period of a first order reaction is independent of its initial concentration. So here also for this question, the answer is nothing but the derivation of the 
expression for half life of the first order reaction itself because we get a uh, expression like t half is equal to 0.693 by k so if there is no concentration term so we can say that half life period of a first order reaction is independent of its initial concentration so one uh, two mark uh, numerical may be asked from half life period of a reaction so for zero order and first order so next important topics from this chapter graphs there are may important four graphs are there so first one graph of concentration of r versus t for zero order reaction graph of lan r versus t for first order reaction and another two very very important graphs which uh, explains the effect of temperature and catalyst for two mark or sometimes three mark the effect of temperature and catalyst through graph so explanation for that graph may be asked so you have to uh, study about four graphs uh, effect of temperature and catalyst through graph and two graphs for zero order and first order reaction and of course units so another important uh, topic is unit for rate constant of zero order and first order reaction for one mark uh, you may ask to write unit for rate constant then these two important uh, equations arrhenius equation so this equation may be asked for one mark uh, what is arrhenius equation or write the arrhenius equation if they ask uh, if you ask to write this uh, equation then you have to or uh, explain the terms what is k what is a or what is e a activation energy like that then uh, about this equation uh, three mark numerical or two mark numerical may be asked which is based upon this equation log k2 by k1 is equal to e a divided by 2.303 into R, rt into 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 here uh, in the question uh, so Uh, you may ask to calculate the rate constant at a given temperature uh, two temperatures are given so like that so this equation also very very important then this table so this table is very very important here order reaction type differential rate equation integrated rate law or a rate expression straight line plot half life period and units of k so for zero order if you consider a reaction r gives p a reactant gives product then the differential rate law will be dr by dt is equal to minus k k is rate constant then integrated rate law kt is equal to initial concentration r not minus concentration uh, concentration of reactant at a time t then straight line plot if you plot a graph of uh, concentration of r versus t then we get a straight line then half life period so half life period for zero order reaction is t half is equal to r not initial concentration r not divided by 2 into rate constant k then unit of rate constant k that is mole per liter per second for zero order reaction similarly for first order reaction here in case of first order reaction if you consider a reaction r gives p then if it is first order reaction then different uh, differential rate law will be dr by dt is equal to minus k into r so from this only we can define these two equation if concentration of a reactant has the power 0 then it is zero order reaction if it is 1 then it is first order reaction so any quantity rise to the power 0 means it is equal to 1 so we write dr by dt is equal to minus k itself but in case of first order reaction dr by dt is equal to minus k into concentration of r to the power 1 then integrated rate law kt is equal to ln r not to divide by r or uh, kt is equal to ln r not minus ln r here r not concentration initial concentration and r is the concentration of the reactant at a time t and k rate constant of that reaction and friends uh, as you know if we write any uh, chemical or uh, any reactant or product in square bracket then it defines the concentration of that quantity uh, concentration of that 
reaction. Here, uh, we write A in square bracket means it is concentration of A. Then, straight line plot. If you plot a graph of line R versus T, then we get a straight line. Then, half-life period. If we are, uh, for first order reaction, T half is equal to ln 2 by K or 0.692 divided by K. Here, there is no concentration term. So, T half of the first order reaction is independent of its initial concentration. Here, K is a rate constant. Then, unit for rate constant of the first order reaction, it is per second. Per second. So, friends, here in this chapter, chemical kinetics, the calculation of order and molecularity and difference between them. Then, pseudo first order reaction definition and example. Then, derivation of integrated rate expression. It is 100% guarantee question. You have to uh, practice that derivation. Then, zero order for first order and zero order. Then, half life period. So, uh, there may be a question about uh, the um, what the derivation of the high expression or generally one numerical based upon half life period may be asked for two marks. Then graphs, four graphs. So effect of temperature and catalyst to through graph is uh, important concept. Then units for rate constant for zero order and first order. Then Arrhenius equation and these all expressions are very very important. So just uh, you have to practice this derivation of integrated rate expression for zero order and first order reaction because it is definite question and all these uh, topics are very very important friends if you have any doubt about um, these topics please write your doubts in the comment section i will try to solve your doubts and i have already uploaded so many videos about uh, these topics please watch those videos and please write your opinion about this video in the comment section Please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry and please like this video and share this video with your friends. Thank you.